All right, let's get right into it. For the last couple of years, the AI race has felt like this all-out sprint, right? But what if I told you one company may have secretly crossed the finish line a long, long time ago? Today, we are diving into a really fascinating analysis that makes a super bold claim. Alphabet has already won the AI war. Yeah, I know. It's a provocative question. It seems crazy. While the whole world is glued to every new chatbot feature and model update, this argument says the real fight isn't where we think it is. And the outcome? It might already be decided. So how on earth is that even possible? So this is the core idea, and it draws this amazing parallel to Netflix. Remember when everyone was freaking out thinking Disney Plus was going to be this huge threat? Well, by the time most people realized Netflix's lead was basically unshakable, the war was over. The argument here is that we're watching the exact same movie play out with Alphabet and AI, and it's all just hiding in plain sight. Okay, so to really get our heads around this, we first have to look past what the source of this analysis calls the chatbot distraction. You know, all those daily headlines about which model writes a slightly better poem or whatever. According to this thinking, that's just noise. It's not the real competition. I mean, think about how fast the public story has changed. Just a short while ago, the big narrative was that Google was totally caught off guard. You know, a sleeping giant. Then they had that shaky start with Bard. But now? Now we live in a world where Gemini is seen as this incredibly powerful force. This whiplash just shows how fixated we've been on the surface level stuff. The product versus product battle. And this is really the main point. Obsessing over which chatbot is the smartest at any given moment completely misses the much, much bigger strategic game that's being played. The real war, the one Alphabet is supposedly winning, is being fought on a totally different battlefield. Which brings us to Alphabet's secret weapon. The heart of this entire argument is that Alphabet's real, unbeatable advantage is its control over the entire technology stack. I'm talking from the tiny silicon chip all the way up to the screen that's in your hand right now. So, what do we mean by full-stack AI? Well, think of it like this. It's vertical integration, but for the age of artificial intelligence. It means one company owns and optimizes every single piece of the puzzle. Not just the AI model, but the custom chips that run it, the massive data centers that house it, and the apps that deliver it to literally billions of people. This analysis breaks Alphabet stack down into four key layers. So, at the very bottom, you've got their custom-designed AI chips, the TPUs. Layered on top of that is their massive Google Cloud infrastructure. Then you have the layer that might be the most important of all, their totally dominant platforms like Search, Android, and Chrome. And then at the very top, you have the Gemini AI models, which are getting woven into that entire ecosystem. Let's just zero in on that third layer for a second, distribution. The source of this analysis claims this is Alphabet's ace in the hole. It's their unbeatable advantage. Why? Because they don't need to go out and fight for users. They already own all the roads that lead right to them. I mean, just look at the world of search. It is not even a competition. With over 90% of the market, Google is the default front door to the internet for pretty much everyone on the planet. And it doesn't stop there. Take a look at the browser market. Not only is Chrome completely dominant, but its market share is actually accelerating. It gained five percentage points in just two months. That's crazy. And on mobile, you guessed it, same story. Android controls nearly three quarters of the entire global operating system market. So when Google wants to push an update, it can instantly reach billions and billions of devices. Its competitors have to scrap and fight for every single app download. So what does this all boil down to? It's pretty blunt. Competitors like OpenAI have to build an amazing product and then convince you to go use it. Google just has to build an amazing product and then plug it into the tools you already use every single day. They don't have to ask for your attention. They already own the screen. And this gets us to the next big idea here, the unfair advantage. See, this full stack control isn't just a tech advantage. It creates what this analysis calls a completely unbeatable business model. Right now, there are basically two competing models in the AI world. On one side, you've got Alphabet's vertical model, where it owns everything from its own TPU chips to its cloud to its AI. But on the other side, you've got the partnership model where, say, NVIDIA makes the chips, Microsoft provides the cloud, and OpenAI builds the models. And at every single one of those steps, someone's adding a markup. The source uses a perfect analogy for this, the gasoline supply chain. Alphabet is like the company that owns the oil well, the refinery, and the gas station. It controls the costs at every single stage. Its competitors, well, they're basically buying gas from someone else's refinery and then selling it at their gas station, paying that markup all along the way. 
So, what's the result of owning that whole supply chain? Well, this number is just, it's staggering. The analysis says that Alphabet's in-house advantage lets it get computing power at a cost that is just 20% of what competitors pay when they have to rely on NVIDIA's chips. That is a massive, game-changing cost advantage. So what do you do when your cost structure is a tiny fraction of your rivals? You weaponize it. This advantage gives Alphabet the power to do something its competitors just can't afford to do, make its most powerful AI features essentially free for you and me. And if you want to see how this works, just think about a product you probably use every day. What does it actually cost you to use Gmail, one of the most powerful communication tools ever invented? Yep, zero. It costs you nothing. It's a textbook example of a strategy the source calls predatory pricing, using your dominant position to offer something for free, making it almost impossible for anyone else to even compete. And here is the strategic genius of it all. The AI doesn't have to be the thing you pay for. It just becomes a free, incredible feature that locks you deeper into the ecosystem. You know, search, cloud, subscriptions, where Alphabet actually makes its money. OpenAI can't give its product away for free. It is their product. For Alphabet, AI is just an amazing feature to make its massively profitable empire even better. And this all leads to the end game. Alphabet isn't trying to win by selling you a chatbot subscription. No, according to this analysis, it's winning by turning AI into an invisible, essential utility, something like electricity or Wi-Fi that you just expect to be there. And the crucial thing to understand is that Alphabet has so many ways to cash in. It sells AI compute on Google Cloud. It benefits from this multiplier effect, where using its AI makes you spend more on its other cloud services. And yeah, of course, it can still offer premium subscription tiers for the power users. AI isn't just one product, it's a catalyst that makes the whole machine run faster and more profitably. And that leaves us with this final question to chew on. Maybe the race isn't about creating some big, shiny AI app that we all have to remember to open. Maybe it's about seamlessly weaving that intelligence into every single tool we already use. So if the winning AI is the one that becomes so integrated into our lives that it's just invisible, has Alphabet already won without most of us even noticing?